Chopper 6 over a massive show of solidarity today outside Philadelphia City Hall. Members of the city's largest union took to the streets, demonstrating and blocking traffic just moments after authorizing a strike. Thousands of employees, including sanitation workers, could soon be on the picket line. It is Wednesday night, and the big story on Action News is at least 9,000 city employees with local union District 33 ready to walk off the job. They've been working without a contract since July. Action News reporter Brianna Smith live on the Ben Franklin Parkway tonight with the latest. Brianna. Rick, union members made their voices heard outside City Hall, and now the union's president says he'll give Mayor Sherelle Parker's administration a 10-day notice about a potential strike. He says this all comes after he presented a comprehensive plan to city leaders, but they did not show a desire to negotiate. Give us a fair contract, what we rightfully deserve. About 1,000 members of the American Federation of State, County, and Municipal Employees District Council 33 stood in solidarity outside of Philadelphia City Hall Wednesday evening. The city's largest union, which represents about 9,000 blue-collar employees from the sanitation to health to water departments, among others, voted to authorize a strike. Nobody wants to go on strike. Nobody. It, we can't afford it, but we can't afford to continue the way that we are. We need two jobs to make ends meet. We got mortgages, car notes, we got children. Greg Bolware, who is the union's president, says he asked Mayor Sherelle Parker for higher wages, better benefits, and relaxed residency protocols. Our people are essentially the working poor of Philadelphia. Uh, we don't make a livable wage to be able to survive, thrive, and live in this city. Bolware says Parker proposed a one-year contract extension in a $50 increase per paycheck without addressing their needs. However, he felt the support from council member Nina Ahmed, who says she and other colleagues signed a letter which will go to Parker on Thursday. She knows it's coming. A spokesperson for Parker's administration said in a statement, quote, we remain confident in what we've negotiated throughout this year with every other union representing our municipal workers, and we believe we will be able to find an amicable resolution with District Council 33's leadership and membership. We are essential Employees, show us some love there, Parker. And the union's president says after he gives that 10 day notice, he'll determine his next steps, but he ho hopes both sides can reach an agreement so the union can avoid a strike altogether. Live along the Benjamin Franklin Parkway, Brianna Smith, Channel 6 Action News. Rick. All right, Brianna, thank you.